August 23rd, first work day of the week that the people like to call Sunday. The good Lord always just named them day one. Well, brethren, time to get over into the Lord's care ministry. Knowledge and wisdom comes from above, day 235 of the year 2009. Sure, moving along, isn't it? Time to open up our Bibles again so that you can read along chapter and verse with me. We won't read the whole chapter, just a verse, part of a verse out of this chapter. I suggest you write this chapter and verse down so you can study the whole context at your own leisure. Being that I'll go through the chapter and verse fairly fast, use the pause button down here so you can stop and read it along with me. Okay, let's start with Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 4. I have made and I will bear. Now let's go to Isaiah chapter 43 verses 1 through 2. Thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou is passing through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 4. Even to your old age I am he, and even to the whore's hair I will carry you. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verses 11 through 12. As an eagle is stirring up her nest, is fluttering over her young, is spreading abroad her wings, is taking them, is bearing them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him. Isaiah chapter 63 and verse 9, He will bury them and carry them all the days of old. Now let's go over to Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Now look for Romans chapter 8 verses 38 through 39. For I am persuaded that neither height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nobody can separate you from the love of God. Only you can do the separation. Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 15. Can a woman forget her suckling child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Wisdom comes from above. Before honor is humility. The wise are humble. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 2. When pride comes, then comes shame. But with the humble is wisdom. Humility precedes honor. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 33. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 12. Before destruction the heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility. Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 4. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. He is a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ, a Bible Christian, Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16, 
all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men that makes void the word of God. And that it really does. Pay attention to the Lord's word, to the letter that he sent you. You find it in what you call the gospel, the good news. And that thing should be right in front of you now, the Bible. Well, brethren, do you want to follow the Lord's good news, to follow his narrow path, to get to his kingdom and his salvation? Then follow that word of God. As we just said, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. God put that in that book for you. It is profitable for doctrine. Follow the Lord's doctrine, not the tradition of men that has turned it all upside down and made void the word of God. It's for reproof and correction. It tells you when you went wrong. It tells you when you went right. For instruction in righteousness. Not your righteousness, but God's righteousness. Tradition of men makes their own law to be cover their own righteousness. God's law gives you his righteousness. Do you want to change, brethren? If so, get down on your knees and repent. Ask the Father and the Son for forgiveness for not following his word. Ask them to show you the way to give you the wisdom and understanding so that you can find his kingdom and salvation. Well, with that, brethren, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.